All right, Mr. Moe is back again, Mercer Machine Shop. So today we're going to start looking at the milling machine. And what I'm going to do is go over the controls and what they do. And then after that, we'll have um, videos later on down to show you the actual operation. Okay, so this is our mill. And there's some things about it that, that are essential to know, okay? For instance, starting at the top here, the on and off switch. This switch will turn two different ways, okay? It'll turn to the left and it'll turn to the right. And you have to pay attention to which way you're, you're flipping the switch because of the rotation of the machine, of the spindle, okay? So on the milling machine, you always want the rotation to be around to the right. Okay, because that's the way all the cutting tools are made. They're made to spin to the right. The geometry of them is made to cut as it's spinning to the right. So, whatever direction you flip this switch, it must make the machine turn to the right. Okay, all right, we'll cover that some more later. So your on-off switch, that goes both ways. This is a brake, all right? This is a variable speed knob that you only, you only operate while the machine is running. Okay, on this side over here on the right side, you have your range selector. Okay, we'll cover that. We'll cover all these parts later in more detail. Naturally, you have your vise here. You have your Y-axis handle here, okay? And your X-axis on the ends, on each end, all right? Your Z-axis is this one, okay? It lets the machine up and down. Now, all of these um, levers and handles are graduated in thousands. You have a little wheel here, and you'll see it is graduated in thousands, and that way you can determine how far you're moving in the X and the Y, all right? Now, when we operate the mill, we, have, we put a cutter in our spindle here, all right? And we have a, what they call a draw bar. This is a draw bar. And this draw bar goes down through the top of the machine, down through the spindle, and it hooks into different attachments that go in the spindle in that manner, okay? Now, this is a collet a collet. All right, this thing is threaded in the end and it threads onto the draw bar. Okay? And the draw bar pulls the collet back up into the spindle like this in this manner and it closes down on your end mill. Okay, this is a, a little half inch end mill. Goes in the collet as such. And when that collet gets pulled up in the spindle the jaws of it get forced down onto the end mill, and that's what holds it. Okay, and that's how your machine works. The draw bar is tightened up, pulls the collet in, and the end mill gets held that way. Okay, like I said, it must turn around to the right. That's the way it's built to work. Now. When you are selecting your speeds and feeds, I have a cheat, a cheat sheet just like the um, lathe, okay? It's, it's attached to the machine. This is the cheat sheet for this one, okay? You have to select your different speeds and feeds for your different tools and materials just like the lathe. All right. The mill, the lathe, the workpiece turns and your tool is stationary in the mill your workpiece is stationary and the tool turns. Okay, so it's just opposite okay, as the lay. Now, um, the lathe also, the feed is different on the milling machine. You have an automatic feed in the X direction with this. Okay, In the Y, you feed it manually on the mill. Alright? So, and also in the Z, you come up and down manually. Now, your variable speed over here, like I said, can be used in X. 
and the, the lever is the direction that it's going to feed. Okay. So when you get ready to set your speed on the mill, there's these little windows up here, low and high. That low and high is talking about the range. Your range selector is on the right hand side of your machine. When you select your range, you turn, select the range, turn the machine on, and then you look in this little window and you turn your variable speed knob to select your speed. Okay. Once again, this must be operated with the machine on. Okay. You cut the machine on, then operate that. Okay. All right, we went over the brake. Now, we can also put a drill chuck in here. Just like on the lathe, we put drill chuck and tail stop. We can put an end mill in here, a drill chuck. Okay, we can put a center in here. There's variable um, operations on the mill. The first operation you'll be doing is, is cutting with an end mill. Okay. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to cut on the side of the end mill and on the end of the end mill and how to do your speeds. All right, I'll see you in the shop.